Thanksgiving a little more than a week away now, and a lot of people getting ready to fly for the first time in nine months, maybe, as coronavirus cases continue to rise, though. And TSA agents are among those testing positive. Those trips come with a lot of concern. News 6 investigator Maris Badcock wanted to find out what is being done to keep travelers safe. She got a firsthand look at the new measures that were just put in place at Orlando International Airport. Orlando is the busiest airport in Florida, both before and during coronavirus. Not only did we get a look at new contact-free security measures, but we also took a look at just how OIA's positive coronavirus cases compared to other state airports. Shoes off, laptops out, and masks on. Just some of the new things passengers going through Orlando International Airport will see this holiday season. And so we've been able to implement several procedures, all of which have been done without compromising security. First, new ID readers, designed so travelers won't have to hand their identification or passport to the officer. Also, no need to show their boarding pass. It's a touchless experience. Next, acrylic barriers protect folks in possible high contact spaces. But the big new piece of equipment? That would be OIA's new x-ray machines. It produces a 3D image. Our officers are able to get a very clear look at the x-ray image of the contents of the bag. Clearer images mean fewer bag checks. Fewer bag checks means fewer potential for those touch points and also cross contaminations. Travelers also may notice fewer fellow passengers since TSA data shows airport travel is down 74% since May. We know a lot of travel right now is being booked last minute. And so part of our job is to be ready for whatever volume of travelers come through. TSA says it still starts with the traveler. Prohibited items are still prohibited even with these new x-ray machines, meaning things like your cell phone and keys, they still have to go through the machine. And if you do need to be pat down for any reason, you can ask an officer to change their gloves at any time. We know that exposure to the coronavirus is really based on two things proximity and duration. So anything you can do to make sure you're moving the whole time through the checkpoint is good for the traveler and it's good for our employees. Even during the pandemic, OIA is still Florida's busiest airport. Now, despite this busy bee designation, Orlando has had 88 TSA employees test positive for coronavirus compared to 94 employees in Fort Lauderdale and 152 TSA employees in Miami. You can check out updated data online before you fly. It's updated on TSA's website every day. Now, TSA is also recommending people sign up for TSA PreCheck so they can leave on their shoes and leave their laptops in their bags. It takes about a week to get approved. So if you sign up soon, you should have that clearance in time for Thanksgiving. Getting results, I'm Maris Badcock, News 6.